Hey Glam Girls, I wanna to talk to you today about two products that I think I fell in love with one of them more than the other, but I'm going to talk to you about them both. Okay, so initially the reason why I looked into any of these products is because I watch Shireen Idris, pretty sure that is how you pronounce her name, um, on Instagram. I watch her stories every night and one of the things that she talks about a lot is French pharmacy. And the reason why I think she talks about that a lot is because I think she does go uh, to Europe a lot and she's able to get that stuff. Plus, I do know that the French have like amazing like skin. So um, I think that's pretty much why she talks about this a lot. But this first product is A313. I looked a lot on Instagram and on uh, YouTube and there's really not that many videos on this. And I'm just like, why? I'm like mind blown. Um, so I wanted to talk to you today about how this has affected my face and how Retin-A has affected my face. And the reason why I bought the Retin-A is because A313 is a synthetic form of Retin-A. So, I kind of wanted to give the Retin-A a try after trying the A313 and seeing how that, how that did. But to be honest, I love one of them more than the other, but for different reasons. So, let's get into it. So, the A313 is the first one I purchased. And I got to tell you, I did not go to Europe to buy this, but I would recommend that if you have somebody going to Europe, know somebody going to Europe, or if you can really, really trust the internet. I do know that there are some websites that carry this that you can get it from, but you cannot buy this in the US. You cannot buy this in the US. This is like liquid gold. Um, you can't get it around here. I don't know if uh, Canada sells this. I didn't really even look into that. So uh, I do want to actually look into that because once I run out of this, I don't even know how I'm going to get more. I did look on Amazon where I bought this to see if I could buy it again. Because as you can see, it's like a half a tube left. I'm getting kind of sad about that. Um, but anyway, this only cost me 15 bucks on Amazon, uh, which is a steal because the Retin-A, which is the true form of what A313 is, um, this cost me 50 bucks when I went to Mexico. And I really was hesitant on buying it, to be completely honest. But um, I bought it anyway because I was like, well, who's to say I'm going to go home, go to the dermatologist, and then he's going to tell me no, he's not going to prescribe it to me, and then how am I going to get Retin-A? So I went ahead and bought it anyway. And... Um, to be honest, the only thing that was deterring me from buying this was the price. Uh, 50 bucks for this tube. I don't even know how long this tube is actually gonna last me because I bought this the week before COVID actually broke out here in the US. I was on a cruise um, in Mexico the week before COVID actually broke out here. So I came back home and then everybody was like, a week later, shut down. So, Anyway, fast forward. So, bought the Retin-A, love the Retin-A for different reasons than I love the A313. So let's get into the A313 and how it works. So a lot of the videos that I watch on A313, it says that you're supposed to cut it with a moisturizer. The only reason why I say that that's not really true is because I have put this on with a moisturizer and cutting it and I put, it on, I put it on by itself and it has not actually broke me out, made my skin dry or flaky or crack. So why am I cutting it with a moisturizer? I was trying to figure that out and why other people keep saying to do that. It's not the real form, it says synthetic, but it says that it's supposed to be better. This is what all the French girls are using um, for their nighttime skincare routine, I'm assuming. Um, so I figured I would wanna try it too because if Dr. Shereen Idris, which is a um, 
board certified dermatologist. She's based out of New York. If y'all can, y'all go look her up. She's got awesome videos too. So anyway, when she said that th this is one of the things she uses and let me show you this. She also said that she uses this as well. This is just a flat out moisturizer. And this is um, a French um, pharmacy brand too. Um, I don't even know how you say that. Embroilis. Um, anyway, this is just a moisturizer. That's not um, a Retin-A or anything. But anyway, she was saying um, the not Shereen Idris. Um, another YouTuber was saying to cut this with a moisturizer so that you don't get skin irritations. But I don't find that this irritates your face at all, um, just straight up. So don't be afraid to use this straight up because you can. Um, I think my skin is pretty sensitive and I have not had any issues with using this by itself. This is actually, the consistency is just like Vaseline, like identical. It's not, um, it's not a cream, it's not a gel, it's like literally just like Vaseline, just like Vaseline. Um, I can put a tiny bit on my arm so you can see it literally is just like Vaseline. I, I can't say it enough times. Um, the consistency, the, the feel of it, everything feels like Vaseline. Okay, the second item is Retin-A. So, I bought the Retin-A because I have under eye hollows. As you can see, it always looks like I am tired. I'm so sick of people telling me, oh my God, did you sleep good last night? You look so tired. Like, please stop asking me that. I'm like freaking out. Um, I might just have allergies or what if I didn't sleep good, but it's not every night. Um, so I wanted to get Retin-A to see if it would tighten on my skin so that I could not have hollows anymore. Uh, I mean, who wants to have hollows? I don't want to have these folds going on. Uh, I have 11 lines. I'm 36. My skin is aging. I don't care if anybody knows my age anyway. But I look back at other pictures when I was 24 and I noticed that I still had the under eye hollows. So it's not, that part is not that I'm aging. It's just, that's probably hereditary. Who the heck knows? Anyway, so that's why I bought these things so that I can correct that. Uh, I ended up just going to get eye fillers. Um, I was deathly afraid to do that because it's by your eyeball and who the heck knows if that goes wrong, right? So I was freaking out about getting it and anyway, I got it done. I looked freaking horrible. It looked like somebody beat me up under my eyes. I wanna tell you all under here, it was so bruised, it was so bad. It hurt so bad. I'm not afraid of needles by no means. I'm not afraid to get blood or anything like that. But every time she poked me with the needle right by my eyeball, I think I was about to throw up because it was that painful. Um, I really actually wanted to go get a second opinion before I went to go see this person, but she was so highly recommended that I was just like, I want it done, I want it done now, I'm not gonna wait. And that was in February um, that I got that done, um, first week of February. And here we are, what is today? The 20th of July. And literally, I can see the line come back. Before, you couldn't see it. Like, after I got the uh, fillers, you couldn't see it anymore. It looked perfect. Um, but I can tell you, the bruising lasted for ever i was like i'm about to go on a cruise and i need the bruising to go away and arnica wouldn't help and uh what you call that the ice packs wouldn't help so i was freaking out so the whole eye filler thing i think was just like i don't know i don't know if i would even do it again um it was that painful and i'm not an any when it comes to that so anyway Back to what I'm talking about. The Retin-A did one thing wonderfully, and that is every time I had a breakout and I put this on the breakout, my breakout was gone. The A313 on the other hand, the next morning after you put this on at night all over your face, your face is so glowy and beautiful and it looks like you just had a facial. It's so pretty. Um, 
your foundation goes on better, your powder goes on better. It just, your face looks phenomenal the next day after using this um, the night before. And I noticed it the very next day. It, it didn't take time for me to see that. The A313 worked overnight and the Retin-A worked overnight for blemishes and pimples on the face or underground, pim I mean, underground, listen to me, under the skin pimples. So the Retin-A, I can honestly tell you that the Retin-A will definitely clear up acne. It's going to be a long time probably before I see this work for fine lines and wrinkles. Now, I did recently buy something else for that, but that's another video and it has to do with cupping. Um, I just recently discovered there's face cupping. Never even knew that that was even a thing. So I'm going to do a video on that, an instructional video and to show you... Um, how that goes. Uh, I did do cupping last night and it left me two bruises. You can't see them like this, but it's under my chin right here and right here. I have two, two dark spots from the cups. So hopefully that goes well and this goes away and this goes away and then we'll have something and I won't have to get fillers again because fillers are freaking expensive. So FYI, this, oh, let me tell you how much this was. This was 50 bucks in Mexico. Yes, $50 US dollars. I was not happy about that. And this was $15 on Amazon. Um, and when this came in, it did have all kinds of um, stamps from Europe. So I'm pretty sure I have the legit product. Um, Please like and subscribe this channel. I'm going to be talking about a lot of different products. I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I will be talking about products for hair, skin, um, not too much nails because i um, not into that, but I will be talking about a lot of things. Please comment in the comments, but comment section below and let me know if there's anything you want me to review or talk about that you might be interested in. I have issues with trying to find foundations that fit my face issues with, I have oily skin really bad. So I've tried almost every foundation under the sun. If you have a foundation or if you have any product that you want me to review or that you have questions about, just comment below, ask me, and I'll do a video on it. All right, girls, help me grow this channel. All right, bye.